Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Camera, perfect. Right, uh, yeah, I do get, um, fuck it. How's everyone doing? Yeah, good? Yay! Amazing quality. I get really fucking nervous before I get, bit, get up here. A mate of mine, he gave, me, uh, he gave me some really good advice. He said to me, he said, uh, the man is fat, the man is on I said, what? What the fuck was that? He said, the man is fat, the man is on I said, what? Seriously, mate, you don't usually speak like that. What the fuck? He said, don't worry, mate, you'll be fine. Just imagine everyone naked. I said, what, what was with the voice? I said, I don't know. Well, it'd be funny. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was pretty funny, yeah, no, it fucking worked. Perfect. But yeah, alright, I'll give it a go. No, I can't actually imagine you guys naked, so if you could help me out and just get naked, starting with you. No, don't actually, don't actually get naked, it's fine. I get quite easily aroused and that would be embarrassing. Problem solved. Problem solved, problem, problem solved. No, it's not actually, I've, I've had an erection from the start, no one's, no one's seemed to notice. You're all looking at my cock now, though, aren't you? These are fucking tight, I don't know why I did, the, did that, Joey, that's a bit. So look back at the tash, look back at the tash. This is, uh, this is from Movember, has anyone heard of Movember, yeah? It's good, it's raising money for prostate cancer. I was, uh, was going to shave it into a Hitler, but, uh, well, I didn't have the ball. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, it is from November, and the reason that I am doing it from November is because it's, it's not just to raise money for prostate cancer, it's because I've been doing a few gigs and I haven't been getting amazing responses. Um, I did the gong show in Southampton and I got gonged off, and all of these people that haven't really been appreciating... Uh, what? Appreciating comedy, haven't really been laughing, they've all been getting prostate cancer. And I'm not, I'm not saying... I'm not making any idle threats, I'm not saying if you don't laugh now that you're going to get prostate cancer, I'm just saying that's what's happened to everyone else, I'm just saying you're not laughing right now, you might get prostate cancer, even the ladies have been, it's <laughs> weird, weird, weird. My dad's, uh, my dad doesn't have prostate cancer, my dad's, my dad's smooth, he's, uh, he's real smooth, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, real smooth, you know, you know, smooth, you know, real, real, you know, alopecia they call it. He's, uh, he is. He blames me for it as well. Um, I know you're probably thinking, yeah, it's a stress-related illness. Like, what, what would you have done, Mike, that would cause so much stress? What would, that his hair would just fall out? Apparently, me being born caused my dad's alopecia. That's, that's the truth. He tells, tells me on a daily basis. But, um, yeah, you guys don't think that's harsh for some reason. <laughs> That's perfectly normal. <laughs> Why not? You, you look like a cunt, Mike. I'd imagine that a lot of people's hair just fall around, just like you walk past people and their hair just falls off. But yeah, like, um, no, it wasn't, he's got no proof. It wasn't simultaneous. It didn't pop out of my mum and then his hair just fell off. It didn't, it didn't happen like that. So, um, yeah. Alopecia, I don't actually think alopecia is that bad. I'm going, I'm going bald myself. I don't really want to show you guys, but I will. Last, last time I, yeah, oh, people go, ooh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm only 24. Yeah, oh, it's fucking out of order. With the hat on, I look like 24 without. I look like. I don't even want to say anyone how old do you reckon I look? How old do you reckon I look now? 32. Oh, 32. Oh, that's like a fucking kick in the nuts, that is. Oh, at least... Oh, oh you bastard. But yeah, I don't think alopecia's that bad. I don't get... You get like, um... He has sympathy for alopecia. I don't get sympathy for this. Look at this guy just calls me... Looks like a 32-year-old. You're an asshole, you bastard. <laughs> you're wearing a hat, you probably got fucking look. Go on, let's... He's got fur. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Foiled it. My dad's not born too. Oh, you're so lucky. But you've got a lovely girlfriend and everything. Ha ha ha. Fucking one nil. 
<laughs> so I don't. Can I keep going? This is probably over. Fu- no, you right. Yes. I don't really think alopecia is that bad. Like, um, he doesn't have any eyelashes. I think this is the worst thing. Like, he doesn't have any eyelashes, so woo, <laughs> might get bugs like coming in his eyes. <laughs> Not actually coming in his eyes. Come on, grow up, grow up. But yeah, like, um, I reckon there's like, there's got to be some positives. Probably he doesn't have uh, have to uh, pick sweet corn out of his annual bit, does he? Oh, that's disgusting. I don't even eat sweet corn. I don't know where it comes from. Corn on the cob. But, um, yeah, like, uh, if ever he has a surprise party and basically he finds out about his surprise party then he wants to act surprised, doesn't have any eyebrows, just draws them on. They are. He's surprised all the time. It's fantastic. And uh, ladies don't have anything downstairs. It looks bigger all year round. Oh, you're around that, Mike. That's a bit of a weird. That's like uh, saying that you've got seasonal grooming habits or something like that. So, oh, that's, that's a bit weird, like bald in the summer, short back and sides in the autumn, and maybe in the winter you'd uh, shave it into a Christmas tree and dye it green and pretend your penis is your present for your girlfriend. Who would do that? That's, that's completely and utterly weird. Why would anyone? Why would anyone? But surprise! <laughs> That is actually all I've got time for. You've been great. I've been Michael Willem. Thanks.